My name is John Flett. I'm a paediatrician at Hillcrest Private Hospital, Busamed. I help families, children, and schools and teachers who deal with children who think and learn a little differently. One of these concepts that I feel so important to understand is that as a parent, and this applies not only to children with ADHD, right from a child's birth, we have these aspirations and hopes for our children. And we kind of sometimes project our own failures or dreams that were unrealized. And we often project those onto our children. We have these expectations. I see that every day as a pediatrician, dealing with children and families, where parents often, they've got this idea, you know, I want my child to become an accountant. So, you know, I don't want them to take those creative subjects. I don't want them to do mass literacy. I don't want them to be a doffy. Absolutely, a child who has extreme difficulties with maths is forced to do a subject that they have a lot of difficulty with. Maybe they have dyslexia for maths called dyscalculia, or somebody who has difficulty with languages, or who's not scientific, or somebody who's creative and is often made to do certain things. I never forget, you know, when I was at medical school, there was uh, one of my fellow colleagues who was almost forced to become a doctor, forced to go to medical school because his father was a doctor. And, you know, he absolutely hated every moment of it. He didn't want to be there. And at the end of medical school, he did his internship. And you know what? He went overseas and became a surfer, became a professional surfer, a professional, um, you know, windsurfer, and actually participated in uh, international level uh, surfing for another country and opened up a surfing line and a surfing shop. I mean, that's an extreme uh, example. But the point I'm trying to make is that we often want things for our kids and we try and change them. We try and think we can engineer them. We think that children are these blank canvases that we can exert our own wishes. But I've got news for you and your parents or other parents is you can't do that. You've got you've to be a shepherd. You've got to be able to guide your child. You've got to look at their strengths. You can force them. You can, with draconian and fascist sort of parenting, force a child to do certain things and they're going to become very unhappy. You've got to kind of look at their strengths. To be successful in life, you've got to find something you're passionate at, that you're good at, you've got an interest in, and you've just got to take it as far as you can. So the perspective with children with ADHD, parents think that often, you know, a child that doesn't want to work, is not motivated to do their homework, you've got to find ways around that. You know, you can't force a child, you can't, you know, parenting is something that we, we believe is, you know, the ultimate kind of manipulative tool for children. Well, I've got news for you. You know, parenting is important, but I'm afraid there's, it's limited. You're not as important as you think you are. We've got to recognize, we've got to guide, we've got to recognize what your child's strengths are. You've got to recognize what your child is good at. Support the things that they're not so good at. Obviously, you know, they've got to f try and follow a career that, that is viable, that they can support themselves with. But don't try and be an engineer. Don't try and change a child. I suppose just with a relationship, you know, as an adult, in any relationship, you start off believing you can change the other person you're in a relationship with. And eventually you realize you can't. You know, there's no instruction manual before becoming a parent. I mean, on Amazon, there are thousands and thousands of books. There's even a book called Parenting for Dummies. You know, I mean, to think that, you know, with all those books that you're going to find just one particular rule book that is going to help you solve your child. So try and look at uh, the perspective of a guide as a shepherd. 
to try and steer your child, making sure that you set the rules. you like a referee. You've got the whistle. You know the rules. And you implement them. They're the touchlines, but your child has got to play. You're not a participant. You want to let your child live their life. And with ADHD, that is absolutely very true. You've got to allow your child to be the person they're going to be. They have strengths, they have weaknesses. You know, a good coach helps somebody achieve more than they're really capable of. So don't be an engineer, be a shepherd.